Welcome to my channel, Z Bakeries. I wanted to show you these beautiful buttercream floral designs for Mother's Day, but unfortunately I got really busy and then I ended up getting a cold, which is why I lost my voice. But I hit a huge milestone of 10K during that process and I just wanted to say thank you so much. I wouldn't be able to hit this milestone if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. Um, so now I'm just going to get into the video right away since it's a super helpful video since I'm only using one bowl, um, one piping bag, and almost only one piping tip as well. So definitely follow through and I'm definitely sure you're going to absolutely enjoy this video. So over here in this bowl, I have some American buttercream and I'm actually going to be using the lightest shade that I'm going to um, be creating my flowers. So over here, I'm using the Flesh Stone Gel Food Coloring by Chef Matt Master, which is pretty much um, kind of like a skin tone color. So I'm going to start off by adding in one drop of this gel food coloring. And you want to start off by adding a little bit because you can always um, add more later on but it's harder to take away otherwise you would have to add in more buttercream so i'm just going to give that a nice mix um, against the side of the bowl this way if there are any air bubbles in your buttercream this is the time where you can get rid of them so this is a very light shade i'm actually going to add a little bit more of the gel food coloring since i want a little bit of a deeper shade but i am actually using the lightest color um, that i'm going to go with my flowers since this is a one bowl buttercream floral decorating video so you can see i ended up getting a little bit of a darker shade so now i'm going to add this into a piping bag so over here i have a piping bag that i fitted with a coupler so over here I'm using a petal tip which is a tip number 104 so it's going to be thin on one side and thicker on one side. And as I mentioned earlier a coupler is super important to add on your piping bag in case you want to switch up any of your piping tip to get a different type of floral design. Um, for most of this video I will be using just the tip number 104 for all of my flowers as well as my leaves. Um, I do switch up my piping tip at one point but overall I will be using a tip number 104. So now you just want to open up your um, piping bag and cup it around your hand and then using your spatula just fill up your entire piping bag with the buttercream and then you just want to push your buttercream all the way down so it reaches the tip of your piping bag and um, you can see I am using the tip number 104 um, it is one of the most popular um, tips for creating any types of flowers so that is definitely a piping tip I highly recommend if you are into piping any sort of flowers this is definitely something you should um, get so it is the tip number 104 so now you want to make sure you're holding your piping bag straight up and the narrow side is facing upwards and you're just going to create these back and forth wiggle motions um, starting from the center you don't have to be perfect with this that this is kind of just um, a very easy kind of design you just let your piping tip kind of create different types of wiggle motions filling in any of those grooves and you will end up with this beautiful flower so as you can see as I get closer to the edge of the cupcake my grooves are actually getting longer and I'm kind of creating this longward ruffle motion while I am turning my cupcake so first you have tighter um, grooves in the center and as you get near the edge of your piping tip you kind of open up your petals and kind of ruffle outwards and you end up with this beautiful beautiful ruffled flower now whatever that buttercream was remaining in your piping bag, you're going to squeeze out all of that buttercream and you're going to put it back into that same bowl that we had originally created our buttercream color in. Now I'm adding in a little bit more of that American buttercream into my bowl and mixing that in with that previous color. So I end up with this beautiful pastel um, uh, skin tone shade. So I'm putting that same color back into my piping bag. So it's a lot more of a hec less hectic process and you end up with this same piping bag that is going to end up having some of that buttercream that's dark um, in the beginning and then it's kind of going to get lighter because we added in a new color of our buttercream. So I added a little um, dome in the center of my cupcake and, and then a swirl and now I'm creating little petals. So again, you want to start off by creating um, your thin side of your piping tip towards the center and then you want to kind of pull inwards. Uh, while you are turning your cupcake to create these small petals and you want to overlap your previous two petals on top of one another and you're going to keep doing this while you turn your cupcake so you can see I'm creating small little petals 
overlapping the previous petal and you just want to keep doing this and what you'll notice is as your rose starts to bloom your um, piping tip will start to angle out a little bit more and that's just going to start to give you more of an opened rose so starting off in the center kind of pulling inwards and as you get towards the edge of your cupcake you're going to start to angle out your piping tip and you're going to end up with this beautiful um, rose you can see it's darker in the center and a little bit lighter on the outside and that's because we added a lighter buttercream shade um, into our piping bag now again we're going to repeat the same process whatever buttercream we had left in our piping bag we're going to squeeze that all out and put it back into that same bowl where which we had started with and now at this point because we have a lighter color we can add in another color to build up on this so i'm actually using this beautiful fuchsia shade color so i'm going to start off by adding in one drop of this gel food coloring into the bowl and then again you want to give everything a nice mix and you want to make sure you are um, spreading your buttercream against the side of the bowl just to get rid of any of those air pockets and again you want to cup that piping bag same piping bag that we've been using since the beginning around your hand and then you want to fill your piping bag with that buttercream and that's okay if some of that buttercream in your previous piping bag is there it's actually going to give your next flower a very elegant and realistic look to your flowers since all of the colors are actually building up on one another and that will make the flowers look very cohesive as well so over here I switched the piping tip from the tip number 104 to a tip number 81 which is basically um, great for creating a chrysanthemum which is basically a shape of a U um, if you want you can totally uh, omit this and actually stick to the tip number 104 and create a rose that's going to give you a two-tone shade um, and you will end up with having all of your uh, piping flowers with a tip number 104 but if you have a tip number 81 and you want to create this chrysanthemum then you can see I'm actually holding the piping tip against the side of the um, cupcake liner and lifting upwards and then on my next row I'm building halfway on the previous petal and same thing apply pressure and then lift upwards I have a couple of videos where I show you how to create this chrysanthemum since this is a flower you guys very much love I will actually leave a link in the eye icon above to other videos where I show you how to create this flower as well as other buttercream floral cupcake designs since that is something you guys are absolutely enjoying so again you can see apply pressure and lift upwards and in the center you want to create a dome of buttercream and this is just going to give you a little bit more of that height in the center of your cupcake following that same pressure of applying pressure and lifting upwards also if there are any other types of videos you would like to see on my channel please leave a comment in uh, in the comment section down below so I know what type of video you guys would like to see um, I've been getting a lot of suggestions to see wedding cupcakes and cake designs so if that is something you want to see um, comment down below wedding flowers and I'll know that that is something you guys are interested in so now for the next flower i've switched the couplers back from the tip number 81 to a tip number 104 as you just saw earlier and now in that same piping bowl um, i'm adding in some more white buttercream as well as that fuchsia shade and i'm adding a little bit more so it's more of a deeper tone compared to the color that it was before and now I'm just going to take this um, bowl uh, and fill this up with my piping bag. So again, you want to just cup it around your hand and fill up this color in your piping bag. And as you can see, I've started with the lightest shade and I've slowly worked my way up and now I'm going to create a row. So again, you can see I've created that triangular dome and you want to create a circle in the center. And because I have so much of those different colors in my piping bag, you can see it kind of started off with a lighter shade of that color. And that's perfectly fine as I showed earlier. It kind of builds and makes all of your flowers look a lot more cohesive. And now you're going to be creating petals. So you can see you want to make sure your previous two petals are actually overlapping on one another. And you want to start off by actually holding your piping bag a little bit inwards and as you get um, closer to the edge of your cupcake while you are turning it kind of start to angle your piping tip a little bit more outwards and that's just going to start giving you more of an open bloomed rose 
So you can see that once you reach the end of your petals, you end up with this very beautiful full two-toned shade rose. You can see it's a little bit lighter in the center and as you get towards the edge of your cupcake, you end up with more of a magenta, a purplish shade petals. So absolutely love how this turned out. Now on to my next cupcake. So again, you're going to take that bowl, um, take out all of that buttercream that's in your piping bag. Once all of that is out, I'm actually going to add in some of that yellow gel food coloring. So this again is also all of these gel food colorings that I am using are by Chef Master. And you can see I end up with this very yellowish tone. I'm adding a little bit more white buttercream to this. And you can see I end up with this kind of mustard yellow tone. So I'm now adding in some pink shade to this since I want all of the colors to still um, work very well together. So I'm adding a little bit more of that pink gel food coloring in there. I ended up finding that color to be too dark personally, so I added in a little bit more of that white buttercream and took away some of that orange shade just so I can end up with a little bit more of a lighter shade. Um, to be very honest with you, you don't have to be very um, picky with the colors. You could kind of just keep building even one drop on your previous color and you're going to end up with a slightly different um, flower for your next color. But I wanted um, a little bit more of a lighter color so now I've added in some yellow and some more American buttercream to get an even lighter shade because I wanted my next flower to have a little bit more of a brighter yellowish tone flower so I'm adding that yellow buttercream uh, light pastel yellow um, shade into that same piping bag and I'm creating a zinnia so again you want to hold your piping bag at an angle and you can see I have some of my remaining previous buttercream in that same piping bag which was that um, purplish shade and that's perfectly fine it's just going to allow all of our colors to work well together so again creating small little petals from holding in one angle and then creating this kind of a circular motion and then pulling downwards and then you want to kind of overlap your previous petal as you create the second row of petals following that same small motion apply pressure turn and then pull down and what you will notice is that as you create more and more petals and you get closer and closer to the center of your flower you're going to start angling your piping bag inwards more towards like a 45 degree angle and you can see that having your previous uh, colors in your piping bag actually create this beautiful two-tone shade. So you can see the edge of the cupcake um, of the of the petal is a little bit darker than the center, and that actually adds a lot more of a realistic um, shade and look to your flowers. So you can see it ends up really beautiful. Now for the last flower, it's the same leftover buttercream in that piping bag and I'm creating, um, starting from the center, creating kind of like this long heart shape and then pull downwards. So again, starting from the center, create this long heart shape and then pull down. You want to keep creating that same motion all the way around your cupcake. At this point, you can just leave your flower to look like this beautiful um, ruffled kind of design and you could add some beads or sprinkles in the center. What I'm doing is I'm taking that buttercream out um, that was in the piping bag and placing it into that same bowl and I'm adding in some more white buttercream. So again, you want to just give everything a nice mix and you're going to end up with a lighter shade of that previous color. So now I'm just going to hold my piping bag around my hand and then you just want to fill up your piping bag with that lighter shade of buttercream that has some of that previous color inside of it already. So now again, we're going to hold the same motion um, on an angle and then you're going to create that smaller heart shape and then kind of pull inwards. And you're going to keep doing that and what you'll notice is you're going to end up having kind of like this lighter shade over that darker shade of that of those petals and you end up with this kind of full two-toned um, shade buttercream floral design and that's pretty much um, how you create all of those flowers now I'm taking all of that buttercream out of the piping bag and I've added in some green gel food coloring into that um, buttercream so over here I'm using the leaf green shade 
and I actually end up noticing that it's very bright of a green so I'm adding in some brown gel food coloring uh, yellow gel food coloring to kind of brighten it up since it was too dark and now to deepen up this color and make it a lot more realistic I'm adding in some brown gel food coloring and this is just going to create a more of a realistic um, color around your petals for your flowers so you can see you end up with this dark brownish yellowish um, shade of green gel food coloring and you can see that I've actually kept it in that same piping bag that we started with and what you'll notice is that I'm using the same piping tip as well which is the tip number 104 so you want to hold your piping bag directly straight at a 90 degree angle and then kind of create this wiggle motion and pull downwards creating these rose petal leaves so again you don't have to be particular with where you put it it just you can put it wherever you want you just make sure that you are making sure that you hold it upwards and then kind of create an angle and pull down now for decorating some of my flowers, um, the one that I showed you before, the zinnia and this long ruffled flower design, I've filled in the center with these beautiful golden drage, um sprinkles in the center of my cupcakes. This is completely optional. You could omit this part and completely not have this and your cupcakes will still look as beautiful and elegant. Another way that I'm showing you could decorate your cupcakes is I have this beautiful Roxy and Rich Luster Dust Spray and I'm just adding that on top of my flower cupcakes because I was doing this for Mother's Day. I wanted to make these beautiful flowers even more elegant and special which is why I added in the dragees and this beautiful gold luster spray and you can see it adds this beautiful shine on top of all of your cupcakes. But this is pretty much how you create all of these beautiful flowers like the zinnia, this ruffled flower, this rose, um, as well as the chrysanthemum. If you want, you can completely have all of these flowers just made with the tip number 104 and um, in the same bowl with the same piping tip and this, a few gel food colorings and you're going to end up with these beautiful flowers. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification so you know when I upload my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.